And God made a lot of miracles, signs, and wonders pinagi sa kinabuhi ni Moses. And I want to share to you tonight a very short exhortation about the story of Moses. Sa Deuteronomy chapter 34 verses 1 to Uh, one to six. Makita na to ang story dito. It is the time when God, when Moses, very tiguang na si Moses kanang panahon. So after 40 years nga nagwander sila sa desert, si, si Moses tigulang na pod. And then naabot na sila sa plains of Moab. Padulong na sila sa ano di ba sa Promised Land, which is kanang Israel karon na nation. Naabot sila sa Moab. But because of only one sin, si Moses, wala siya kasulod sa promised land. Don't you know, Moses, wala siya kasulod sa promised land? Because of only one sin. And that is disobedience. O simple na pagyod ang disobedience. Kay, ano lang, nasuko lang siya, tapos gibunalan niyang bato. <laughs> ano si Lord, uh, uh, declare or prophesy to the stone, niya mo gawas ang tubig, pero siya, sayang kalagot, because uh, as he lead Israelites very ano man very he, he was so stressed maybe so naglagot siya og gibunalan yang bato and that is the reason nganong si Moses wala siya kasulod sa Egypt uh, sa promised land og kuta magunaw na karon murag wow very unfair pero we learn that tonight what i'm going to talk about is does Moses unsuccessful Despite sa mga miracles, despite sa pagpagamit niya sa Ginoo, the ten plagues sa desert nag-lead siya sa mga Israelites and there comes manna. O nireklamo ang mga Israelites, gitagaan sila quail. And then don't you know for 40 years wala na dunot ilang mga sinina. That's how God faithful is. And Moses led them to that deserts. So Moses, a very faithful servant of God. Then so becoming, he became an instrument of God to proclaim or to execute signs and wonders. But here comes Moses in his old age. Wala siya nakasulod sa promised land. The question is, is he unworthy? Is he takos? Is he successful? Yo, so na, what we're going to do is just simple lang, tulo kabutang. So what are the three things that we can learn in this kind of situation? <laughs> I mean, three things that we can learn. Why Moses not entering the promised land? O matubag na to ang pangutan na niya, successful ba si Moses? Or unfair si Lord? So una, di na nako padugay yun. Una, despite sa mga miracles, despite sa mga achievement ni Moses as a servant of God, wala siya kasulod sa land of promise. Why? Number one lesson, spiritual achievements is, an, is not an assurance in earning the promise of God. Spiritual achievement is not an assurance that we can earn the promise of God. Good works doesn't save us. Regardless how good you are, dili tamalangit, di ba? We all know that, ginapresa sa pastors. But don't you know that even ministry, ministerial success is not an assurance. It's not about how well-performed kay ka sa church, or well not, although I'm not encouraging na dili tamaghimong active sa church. But my point is, it is not an assurance that we can receive the promise of God. Why? Sometimes, my God, nag serve ta sigo noo, but we have this back in our mind, Lord, I serve you because there is favor. Our good works, even spiritual achievements, how faithful you are for how many years, it is not an assurance. Just like Moses, for how many years he served the Lord, pero wala siya kasulod sa promised land. But again, the question is, successful ba si Moses? Number two reason is this. Number two lesson that we can learn. Sometimes we will never know God unless we realize how messy we are. Unless or until we realize how messy we are. 
Many times, may mo tang self-righteous because feeling na to, we are very perfect in the ministry. Living a holy life. But at the end of the day, you become self-righteous. Na to the point nga pag naay mabackslide sa simbahan, ang atong pagtan-aw lain na. But during those brokenness, during katong panahon nga makasala ka, during katong panahon nga na-break ka, those are the times nga mailhan mo si Lord. I'm not saying nga kailangan ta magpa-broken-broken. Broken. But don't you worry, tanan ta mo agi. O dili na to na madinay. Lord, dili ko gusto ma-broken. My, your plans for me is to prosper. Are you sure? Because sometimes, prosperity in the Lord is not the way we think prosperity is. Sometimes, ang prosperity sa mata sa gino is when you are broken and when you humble yourself, Lord, pasaylo ako, and right now, I am humbling myself to you. And that's the time, my ilhani mo, Lord, ikaw da ini, you are this God, how loving God. And in times of breaking, diya ni mo siya na ilhan. Na ilhan ni mo si Lord, not in the times where you are in the mountain tops, pero na ilhan ni mo siya when you are in the valleys. And that's, maybe that's what happened to Moses. Si Moses has a lot of achievements. Pero mas na ilhan niya si Lord, katong panahon niya na-fail siya. Lord, it's not about the miracles I've done. It's not about tungod kay na, na, naimo ko nimong instrumento to perform the ten plagues. Dili tungod kay naimo kong leaders sa Israel to lead them out to Egypt and to lead them into the desert place. Lord, it's not about that. But na learn ni Moses kung kinsa si God katong panahon nga na break siya. But the question is, is he unqualified? Dili ba siya na yung successful? Number three reason. Number three lesson that we can learn. Successful ba si Moses? Maybe in our eyes, dili. But in God's sight, yes. Why? Because katong panahon niya si Moses tigulang na o na disobey niya si Lord o mamatay na siya sa plains of Moab dito niya na-realize nga ang promised land is dili kato ang goal. The promised land is not our goal. God's presence is more than the promise. Why? Because God's presence is already the promise. Yeah, wala kasulod si Moses sa promised land. Pero kabulo mo mo, namatay siya kauban si God. O kinsay nilubong kay Moses? Si God. Asa man ka, makasulod, dili ka maka, makasulod ka sa promised land? Or dili ka makasulod sa promised land pero ang naglubong man po sa imuha si God? And until now, wala gyapon nakita ang iyang lawas. And that's a reminder to us tonight. Now, sometimes in the, in the area of worship, sometimes makafilta nga dili tatakos. And don't just usahay mong God, mahimotang dogmatic in terms like come on, worship the Lord! Ilabay mo mga problema! Kalimte! No. Sometimes, diya sa mga problema, dito na to masailhan si God. O dito na to ma-realize, Lord, you are more than the promise. Because the promise is God Himself. You know what? Kita Christian mayuta. Gusto ba ta maabot sa langit? Kinsay gusto maabot sa langit? Murag tanan man siguro. Pero nga nung gusto ta matog langit? Tungod ba kay gold ang streets? Tungod ba kay, kay ang naay palasyo dito? Tungod ba kay naay crowns? Ihatag si God, si God sa tua? The Bible says niya, pag sa langit, natay mga crowns. Crowns of righteousness. Daga, ang klaseng crowns. The Bible says na ang, ang langit, na siya ay kanang streets of gold. Naay mga palaces, naay room, gibutang si God sa imuha dito. Pero kana ba ang rason nga nung gusto tamo ato sa langit? Remember, Heaven is nothing without God in the center of heaven. 
Unsaon matut ang langit pero wala siga dito. The reason why nganong nagaadtot, nganong gusto ta maabot sa langit because God is there. And we long for him. The reason why nganong nagaserve ta sa ministry because God's presence is already the promise. Ugo sa hay kailangan ta mo agi og breaking for us to learn nga it's not all about me man di ay Usahay mo agi tag breaking to humble ourselves nga Lord sa ministry usahay feeling nato kita ang sentro no it's Christ and I love this church because una si Pastor Jet I've seen his heart for many years during pa sa among youth days and I know that his heart is for God and I can relate to him that he wants that this church will be Christ-centered. Dili lang tungod kay nagahimo tag mga pakulo o dagang tag activities. It's not about that. Let it be that this church, Christ, Jesus, be the center. Ana si Apostle Paul, Lord, I may never boast of anything. Ana si Apostle Paul. And let it be si Christ ang makita sa kuwa. Only Christ, only Jesus. And maybe some of us here or maybe Tanan are serving in the ministry. Maybe it's time to refocus ourselves. Jesus, I love you. Ana si John sa book of Revelation. Isa sa mga gikasaway ni Jesus sa mga churches because they've lost their first love. Nawala ang ilang first love. And don't you know sa langit, the 24 elders, they cross their crowns. Why? Ano mo ato mata sa langit, nagatingwa tag crown. Nga even gani ang 24 elders, gilabay nila ang crowns. Why? Because there is none worthy beside Jesus. Only Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worthy. Nagakanta ta, worthy is the Lamb who was slain. The darling of heaven is Jesus. And the reason why we live is to worship Him. Jesus be the center of everything. Siya lang ang takos. Siya lang ang takos nga atong pagadaygon. And whatever, you may be broken. You may be worried. You may be lost in sin. I tell you, makasabot mi ana because we too naga experience ana. Sometimes we fail. But don't you worry. In those failings, dito ni mo mailan si God. Basta lang isurrender ni mo tanan sa iya. Lord, here I am. It's not about kagiingon ni pastor. It's because giingon sa kong leader. But Lord, right now, may I know you more. Encounter you personally. Siya lamang ang takos. And may we be reminded as tonight. Jesus, you are the center, Abba. You are the center. And this song was written uh, last April. And my family have committed this nagagsala. We are Christians. Pero kami tong number one naka kumit sala. And I wrote this song, Lord. It's not about how being perfect. But those brokenness lead us to humble ourselves. Nga dili day kami ang takus, ikaw ang takus. I've written this song. It's only by the grace of God. Nga nung naata diri. We here. It's only by the grace of God. Si Leo, gracias sa ginoo nga nung nakakanta siya diri. Grabe ni kabugoy. Si Jean, si Raymond, si Zimmer, si Tom, kami diri. We are, we are not perfect. We are not, we are not kanaganing magpakauring ing nun. It's only by the grace of God. So I'm gonna sing this song and hope you will be reminded of the song. <laughs> 